Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Marvel Pulp Collector and today let's talk about Iron Man Mark 43. I just wanted to start off by saying this is by far one of the coolest pops, especially from the Age of Ultron set. It is hard to see in the video that I shot, but the artwork displays his thruster exhaust much better. The design in this pop is very well done. What I really like about this pop is the exhaust coming from his thrusters. The armor is very detailed as well and shows off the Mark 43 armor very well. This is the 43rd version of the iron suit that Tony Stark has created. Other armor from the Age of Ultron was the 44th or Hulkbuster version and the 45th version, as well as the Iron Legion armor. The 43rd version of the iron suit is thicker than its predecessor. It is a standard color choice, dark, red, silver, and gold. A new feature to this armor is called Sentry Mode. Sentry Mode guards Tony along with infrared scan that can see through walls. Along with being very thick armor, it is made of gold titanium alloy. The armor also has super strength, durability, and of course flight. Like the previous armor, Mark 43, the suit has prehensility, meaning the armor attaches to Tony through his command. The armor weapons include repulsors with instant firing speed, unibeams, missiles, and shoulder mounted guns. Before the Age of Ultron and sometime after the Battle of Norco, Tony began working on his new armor, Mark 43, although being similar to the 42nd version, with slight improvements. In the Age of Ultron, the Mark 43 armor is used for raiding the Hydra base together with the other Avengers. Tony takes out a lot of Hydra's forces with the Mark 43 armor. When Tony finally realizes Ultron's plans, he went to Africa with the other Avengers. Ultron explains his plan and they end up battling in the sky. Mark 43 armor evolved into the Mark 44 or otherwise known as the Hulkbuster. So in conclusion, this pop is very detailed unlike its Marvel Universe counterpart. The paint is great with no flaws that I can see and the sculpt is quite creative bringing this armor to life. Although I do think that there could have been more detail in the helmet or facial region. So tell me what you think of this pop. Do you like it? Hate it? Let me know in the comments and also be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I am Marvel Pop Collector and have a great day.